Hi there. Welcome to the Kients IV4 setup video for programming a trigger request from an Allen Bradley PLC to the IV4 over Ethernet IP cyclic communication. This is a pretty common function on the IV4, and we're going to walk you through how to set up your ladder logic and set the settings in your IV Smart Navigator software, which we have open here. Now, I highly recommend before watching this video, make sure you've watched the IV4 Ethernet IP setup video, which walks you through how to set up the IV4 as module in your PLC software and set your settings in the IV Smart Navigator to allow Ethernet IP communication. If you haven't seen that, make sure that you have your FieldNet COM unit settings set to Ethernet IP, make sure that's enabled. We set that up in the last video. And then now I'll show you the last thing we have to set up in IV Smart Navigator so that it can accept a trigger from your Ethernet IP controller. So as you can see, I've got a program already set up here, but right now we're in internal trigger mode. So we'll go to trigger options and here you can set it for an external trigger. Now it's gonna wait for a button press or a discrete input or a signal sent from the PLC which is what we're going to configure in a second here, in order to actually trigger and take a picture. We'll hit complete, hit yes, make sure the program changes have been applied, and we can now put it in run mode. You can see it's waiting for trigger, so it's going to wait until it actually receives a signal to take a picture. Now let's hop into Logics Designer, and here you can see, as we set up in the last video, we already have our outputs and our inputs for the IV4 are already loaded in to our controller tags. Before we jump into the ladder logic, there's going to be two bits we have to create in the controller tags. The first one, we're just going to call start. This will be our sort of dummy bit, which will start the whole process. And we can just make this a Boolean, because when we turn it on to true, it's going to start the whole process of triggering. The other bit you have to create is actually going to be an array, but we're going to call this one shot, which we can use to define our one shot. Let's change this type to a Boolean and then hit these three dots to just turn this into an array. We'll hit OK, and that looks good. Now that we have that set, we'll go over here to our ladder logic. You'll see it's empty, and I'll walk you through setting this up. So first thing we do is an examine if closed bit, and we're going to assign this to the value of that start bit that we created. As you can see, it should populate. Yep, start bool, exactly right. Next, we'll need a coil because when we turn this on, toggle that bit on, we want it to activate something. And in this case, we want it to activate our trigger request. Now, you can find the trigger request. It'll always be in output 0.0, .0 and it's labeled there. Uh, this information can be found in the IV4 user's manual or just in your tags here when you load it in. Uh, the tag file as well, the CV, CSV file, has that information in there. Um, so we'll just go in here and assign this to IV4 outputs, output data, 0, 0. Perfect. That's a trigger request. The next thing we'll have to add is an examine if open bit. We'll put this here. And this we're going to assign to a trigger response. Similar to the trigger request, this will always be 0, 0, as you can see right here. But this will be 0, 0 in the inputs. So let's go ahead and assign this IV4 inputs, data, 0. Zero. Great. A couple more things we'll need to do. We want to add a one shot bit here after our start so that this only gets sent in sort of a pulse fashion. Now, this is why we made that one shot array over here. So we'll select one shot zero, hit enter, and that looks good. Last thing we'll do is we need to add not a rung, we need to add a branch. So select this rung, and we're going to add a branch starting here, and we're going to pull it all the way past the one shot. This gives a sort of alternate path for this rung to become activated, and so we need another examine if closed bit. And this one we're actually going to also assign the same thing we assigned our coil to, output data 0, 0 for our trigger request. And this means that if we start it with our sort of dummy start bit, or if the trigger request bit goes high, it'll send this through here. By having this trigger response examine if open bit here, this creates sort of a self-latch circuit where we're making sure we're not going to be sending two trigger requests too quickly. 
and we'll make sure we don't have any sort of errors popping up in our IV Smart Navigator software. All right, with that, our lad ladder logic is all set. We're just going to hit download. And we'll wait just a second here for the PLC to load. And look at that. We'll hit download one more time. It's going to go to our remote program. And it should pretty quickly apply all these changes. We didn't make too many changes. Finalizes the download. And then in a second here, yep, you want it to go to run mode. All right. Now I'll put these in sort of a split screen fashion so you can kind of see what happens here. As you can see, we're still waiting for a trigger. It hasn't received anything yet. So in this case, we just have to toggle on this bit. I'm going to hit control T. You can also right click toggle bit. But when I do that, you should see this take a picture. And look at that. You can see it only takes the one picture and it's not continuously triggering because we got that one shot. I turn this off. I'll move the part in question so you can kind of get a visual of this. When I trigger it again, see we've taken another picture. And that's all you need to do to set up your logic for triggering. Thank you for watching. Please keep a lookout for further videos where we'll be getting into more advanced programming techniques for the IV4 over Ethernet IP.